Hey, it's Heather from Strings and Threads. Welcome and thank you so much for being here. Every Wednesday, I do a series called Wearable Wednesday. Back in January, I decided I wanted to get better at wearables. And I'm not talking hats, scarves, cows. Those have been fine for a long time. But I have never, I, I can probably safely say never before January, made something that was like a sweater or a shirt that I would feel comfortable wearing out. I wanted something that would look nice, that would fit nice, and I always struggled with that. So I decided weekly to work on a project. Now it's not a race, so it's not like I'm gonna have a finished product every week, but what my goal was to continue to work on a project and hopefully have it look nice at the end. And I've had some good and some bad happen along the way. Jess from J Hook Magic is joining in on this where on wearable Wednesdays and she's working on the boho poncho that I worked on previous to this pattern. And so go make sure you go check it out and see the progress that she's making on hers. Thanks Jess for joining in. So I've been working on something called the Easy Tank by Cactus and Lace, and it looks like this. And I'm actually doing a comparison as well with this pattern because um, I made this shirt already and I made it with Dollar Tree cotton because this pattern calls for, let me get it out here because I was lucky enough to get gifted some it calls for Kaboo. And when I priced it out to make it with the Kaboo to get the yardage that I needed was gonna cost $54. But when I bought the cotton, just cotton, which is a cotton blend, it's not just 100% cotton, from the Dollar Tree, it cost me about $13 to make it. So when I saw this pattern, I was like, I'm just gonna make it with the cotton yarn from the Dollar Tree because I don't really even just spend $54 on a shirt that I buy for myself at the store, let alone one that I had to make. But then after I finished that, I had a subscriber who was very, very generous and gifted me enough Kaboo yarn to make this shirt again. And so I was really excited because then I could do the comparison and we can all decide for ourselves if it's worth the extra money to use the better quality yarn or the more expensive yarn, I, I'm assuming it's better quality if it's more expensive. So I had come up with a few categories and I asked you guys to help me think of some categories for a comparison. And this is what I have so far. I'm gonna look down because this is where my list is. The way it feels, compare the way they feel. The ease of working with it was another one. Will they both fit the same? How about washability? Which felt better in hot weather? The long longevity, which is something that I'll have to do over time, obviously. I can't finish both and then tell you the next week how the long longevity of it is. Color diversity, and I think the subscriber, when they were describing that to me, meant like, what are your color choices between the two? Do you have more color options with one versus the other? So that was an interesting one. And then shrinkage. Those were the categories we have. If you thought of any, if you could think of any other comparison quality or comparison uh, categories between the two, let me know. So I completed the the one made with the Dollar Tree cotton. And I'm working on the one right now with the Kaboo. I finished the first panel. I'm doing this one, the first one I did all one color. I'm doing this one, the two-tone, because I was gifted two different colors. And so I wanted to try it with the two-tone anyway. So this is the front panel. And then I started the back panel, but I haven't gotten super far into the back panel. But once the back panel is completed, I'll put it together. I can answer the question of how it feels. The, the dollar yarn was fine. It was just a little bit coarser than this. This uh, Kaboo, <coughs> excuse me, it feels 
so nice. It's very, very soft, and it was really nice to work with. The Dollar Tree yarn, not that it was bad to work with, but just as a comparison, the Dollar Tree yarn, it worked up just fine. I didn't have any issues with the yarn, uh, with crocheting the yarn together. I didn't have any issues with, you know, how it felt. It didn't hurt my hands to work with it or anything. The Kaboo is just nicer feeling and it is a little bit nicer to work with. So the reason that I didn't get farther along in this project, I went to a couple weeks ago, I went to Ollie's and they had something that I was just dying to get. And it's the Huga. I'm going by how it's telling you to pronounce it there. It is ridiculously soft. The colorway that I got right here was plum candy. And I bought five skeins of this, and this is all that I have left from the five skeins, but you can see how nice and fuzzy it is. And it is, oh, so soft, so soft. I initially bought the five thinking that I would make an amigurumi with it. And I put the yarn in the corner of my room because I knew I wanted to finish up some other projects first. But every day I would come into my room to work <laughs> and I would see that yarn there and I'd be like, I am dying. But at each time I looked at it, I didn't see an amigurumi. I saw a nice long um, cardigan sweater. <laughs> so finally, last week, I was like, I cannot resist. And I went ahead and I made myself a cardigan sweater out of it. And it is the most delicious sweater ever. It feels so nice. I didn't follow a pattern. I basically used the same stitch. It's the extended single crochet that I used for this. I wanted something that had a little bit of a lacy feel to it because this is gonna be very warm yarn. So let me turn the camera around so you can see how it looks on me because I won't be able from here to give you a good view of it. Okay, forgive me here while I'm getting into place, but I am really, really happy with how this turned out. This is super comfortable. I could see myself wearing it all winter, you know, having trouble getting it off of me. <laughs> But like I said, I didn't use a pattern. I am not going to do a tutorial on this right now. I just have too much on my plate to do that, but I can kind of talk you through it really quick here. I just did a crochet, a chain that came around to the front of me. And then I did the edging, which was front post, back post for uh, double crochets for a couple rows. And then I did the extended single crochet up to the arms. And then what I did was I did a chain over the shoulder part for the arm sleeve. And then I continued with this uh, extended single crochets until it was as tall as I needed it to be. And then I went and just attached and did the arms same way with the extended single crochet. So that, I'm really happy with this wearable. Let me turn it back around here. My wonderful friend Deb sent me a picture of a whip that she just finished and it's a shirt and it it is so pretty. She did such a nice job of it. I'm going to insert a picture of it here. Thank you, Deb, for sharing that with us. You did a beautiful job and thank you for coming and watching every week and being a part of this channel. Thank you to everybody who comes and watches and is a part of this channel. And if you would like to participate, I would love that. You can send me pictures to share or you can do this on your channel too. We don't have to be making the same thing. We can all be working on something different and, you know, see how all the different things look. I think that's exciting because it could give us an idea of what patterns are good to use and what maybe we should stay away from. 
but it was great to see you today. I hope you have a great day. Bye.